Hi, welcome to our knowledge YouTube channel. What can you think of when you hear the word civilization? A civilization is a complex society which is made up of different cities and it has certain characteristics of cultural and technological development. There were many civilizations which came in the world and one among them was the Indus Valley Civilization. So, in this video, we will learn about the civilization which flourished in the basin of the Indus River. The civilization whose people were rich in arts and crafts. The civilization which is noted for their baked brick houses and elaborate drainage systems. And the civilization which was the most widespread in the ancient world. The Indus Valley Civilization. Indus Valley Civilization was a civilization located in East Pakistan and Northwestern India. It lasted from around 3300 BC to 1300 BC, which means that this civilization was in existence for at least 2000 years. It is named after the Indus River system. The people of the Indus Valley Civilization created sculpture, seals, pottery and jewelry from materials such as terracotta, metal and stone. Harappa in present day Punjab, Pakistan, Mohan Jadlo in present day Sindh, Pakistan, Dhora Vira in present day Gujarat, India, Rakhi Ghadi in present day Haryana, India, and Lothal in present day Gujarat, India are some major archaeological sites of this civilization. Scholars believe that the people of this civilization developed a writing system called Indus script. But the Indus script has not yet been understood or identified and efforts are ongoing. So, at first, let's know that how the Indus Valley Civilization has been discovered. So, all this started when in 1856, some engineers which were building a railway line found mysterious bricks. But they didn't pay much attention to them and continued to make the railway. This was the first evidence of the civilization. In 1920, archaeologists started to discover there and they had found the Indus Valley Civilization by finding the remains of the two cities, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Now, let's know that how was the architecture in Indus Valley Civilization? Well, the walls of the Indus Valley Civilization were made of baked or sun-dried bricks. But one system which was popular for arranging bricks to build walls was the interlocking system. Yes, in this system, the bricks were laid in an interlocking pattern. This made the wall strong. In fact, these bricks were made in such a way that they have lasted for thousands of years. The houses in Indus Valley Civilization were mostly made of baked mud or clay bricks. No stone was used in this purpose. In spite of this, the largest things made in Indus Valley Civilization were granaries which were used as storehouses in which the garnered grains were stored. Each city in the civilization was surrounded by massive walls and gateways. These walls were built to control trade and to stop the city from being flooded. One of the best known remarkable structures which was found in Mohenjo-daro was the Great Bath. It is an ancient structure found in 1926 which might be used for ritual bathing. Now let's know something about the arts and crafts made in Indus Valley Civilization. The arts and crafts made in Indus Valley Civilization were made by skilled artisans and craftsmen. They made seals and sculptures from materials such as copper, bronze and stone. Seals were made from a soft stone named statite. Statite was cut using a tool in a square or any other shape. Then it was fired to make it more hard. Sculptures were made by a special technique called the lost wax technique. In this technique, a wax statue was made and it was covered by a coating of clay. Then the wax inside was heated so that it can melt. By this, a clay mold was created. Then this mold was filled with a hot liquid metal which later cooled and became hard. They also made jewelry from gold and silver such as beads, necklaces, bangles and combs. They made potteries from good quality clay in beautiful designs. 
The cells found in the potteries are pedestal, cylindrical vessels, discs, goblets, etc. One admirable thing found were the terracotta toys. They were made with terracotta in different animals like cows, sheep, and wolves, and tools like axe and hoe. Now let's learn about the advanced drainage system of Indus Valley Civilization. The drainage system of Indus Valley Civilization used in cities is well known for its planning, and it was the best than the drainage system of any other civilization at that time. In fact, it is said that the drainage system of Indus Valley Civilization was even more advanced than the drainage system of some countries today. The drains of Indus Valley Civilization were built on side of the roads and streets. Every house drain was connected with the main street drain. The dirty water from all the houses flew through the house drains and got collected in the street drain. The bricks prevented the water of the drain from leaking. The drains were covered with stone slabs and at intervals inspection holes were given so that they can be cleaned time to time. There were wooden screens which didn't let the solid wastes go with water. These street drains led into even more wider and bigger drain. Then this drain led to dirty water outside the populated areas. In the whole civilization, the most impressive and unique drain system was found at Mohenjo-daro. But other cities like Lothal and Dhunavira also had very good drain systems. Now let's take a look on what people ate in Indus Valley civilization. In the civilization, many evidences have been found about the variety of things the people of Indus Valley civilization ate. The people of Indus Valley civilization ate vegetarian food as well as non-vegetarian food. The people grew many cereals, which include wheat, barley, rice, and millets. If we talk about pulses, then peas, chickpeas, horse grounds, green grounds, black grounds, and peas and peas were grown. With these cereals and pulses, the people also enjoyed vegetables like coriander's, ginger's, brown mustard greens, garlic, okras or lady fingers, and brassicas, and fruits like mangoes, dates, walnuts, jujubes, grapes, figs, and capers. Apart from these, oil seeds like sesame, mustard, and linseed were also grown. The diet of the people would be incomplete without meat. Meat of many animals were eaten, which mainly came from the cattle. The people also caught a variety of fish from the rivers and lakes and ate them either fresh or dried or salted. The people of Indus Valley Civilization made various dishes which were quite good and tasty. Some dishes which were likely to be served are barley bread, red rice porridge, sweet rice and laddus like jaggery laddus and finger millet laddus. Now let's learn about the trade of Indus Valley Civilization with other civilizations. The Indus Valley Civilization was really dependent on trading. As we have learned about the arts and crafts made in the civilization, these arts and crafts were also exported to other civilizations. Trading was done with many other civilizations, especially Mesopotamia, which was their main trading partner. The Indus Valley Civilization traded with Mesopotamian civilization by exporting jewelry, seals, beads, pearls, precious stones, timber, cotton textiles, and metals. Mesopotamia also exported seals, leather items, textiles, and spices to Indus Valley. The proof of this trading is that Many Indus Valley seals were found in Mesopotamia and many Mesopotamian seals were also found in Indus Valley by archaeologists. The Indus Valley civilization also traded with China, Iran, Afghanistan and some others. China exported jade while Iran and Afghanistan exported minerals which was used in Indus Valley in many ways. Now what are some of the archaeological sites found in Indus Valley civilization? Let's know them. Actually, in the present time, over 1,400 archaeological sites have been found yet, which are located in present-day countries of India and Pakistan and a few in Afghanistan. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro in present-day Pakistan are the first two sites which were discovered by archaeologists in the years 1921 and 1922. Another archaeological site, Rakhigadi, in present-day India 
is the largest archaeological site among all the sites in the civilization. Some other popular archaeological sites are Dholavira in present day India, Kodiji in present day Pakistan, Lothal in present day India, Surkotada in present day India, Banavali in present day India, Mehrgarh in present day Pakistan, Chalhudaro in present day Pakistan, and Farmana in present day India. There are also many other sites like Kalibangan, Sanoli, Bhagatra, Tigrana, Alamgirpur, Balu, Jognakhera, Kunal, Malwa, Siswal, and Goladhuru in present day India, while Ganveriwala, Amri, Balakot, Nosaro, Reman Dehri, Pirak, Soktako, and Lakhan Jantaro in present day Pakistan. But this is not the end of the list. There are many, many archaeological sites also. So in this video, we have learned almost everything about Indus Valley Civilization. How it was discovered, its architecture, its arts and crafts, its drainage system, its eating habits, its trading and its archaeological sites. Have you seen and noticed how well planned and organized Indus Valley Civilization was? It was so advanced and this is not a small thing as this civilization was in the time of Bronze Age. The people were so talented even at that time. But if it was so advanced, so well planned, so well organized, then where did the civilization end up? According to historians, the Indus Valley civilization ended up because of floods and devastation. Also, it would have ended because of climate change. But even though it has ended, we are finding and learning many things about it. No problem if it is not there in the present. It will be a remarkable thing in our history. Please like and share this video and please subscribe to our channel if you want to watch our more videos. So meet you in next video. Thanks for watching. Now a word knowledge blog is also available. Just search in Chrome or any other browser a word knowledge education dot blogspot dot com and you will come to our blog. Then you can read and learn whatever you like on our blog. The link of our blog is also given in the description box.